Welcome to week five of Life Together. Today we're talking about serving together, living on mission. I'm Bruce McAvoy, the pastor of Local and Global Impact, which means I have the best job at Chapel Street Church. I get to go to the ends of the earth, lead short-term trips, activate others for local impact, distribute the Serve the World funds, and champion the impact of Shepherd's Heart, one of the faces of neighborhood impact that is making Jesus famous in our community. Speaking of community, groups are the tangible expression of Christian community to the world. Sure, you're about spiritual growth and discovering more about God's Word, but you're also commissioned to be on mission. You are to both individually and as a group make Jesus famous. Think about that for a hot minute. We often get scared of the word evangelism or maybe haven't heard the word or know the definition. We've replaced the term evangelism with neighboring. It's as simple as making Jesus famous. And the easiest way to do that is to act like Jesus acted by serving one another. If I were together with you in your living room right now, I'd ask, can I get an amen? Before we read about Jesus' example of serving, let's not miss how he commissioned his followers extremely clearly in Matthew chapter 28. He writes in verses 18 through 20, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Did you catch that? You are not alone. When we serve and make Jesus famous, he is with you. In Matthew 22, Jesus made it even more simple. Listen to these words. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Why does serving matter? For me, can I simply be vulnerable? I want to please, honor, and submit to my Abba Father. Truth be told, I've got daddy issues. I want my Heavenly Father to delight in me. Therefore, I don't only want to receive the good or even the great gifts he's shared with me. I want to give and to share his love with others. One of those ways is through serving. Serving is the one best way to keep groups from becoming solely about the group members. Serving reminds us that it isn't all about us, but about those we are called to serve. Finally, serving is the new evangelism. Serving is the front door for winning others over with the truth of the gospel of Christ. Jesus made this clear by washing his disciples' feet in John 13. I'm not going to read the early part of the passage because you probably remember the dialogue and the actions. Yet listen to how he concludes his time of intimacy with his band of brothers. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done. Very truly, I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you'll be blessed if you do them. One, serving others is never beneath you. Perfect divinity serves sinful humanity. Two, serving others is not about who they are, but about who Jesus is. Remember, he washed Judas's feet. And three, 
Humility is not only about our willingness to serve, but also our willingness to be served. Remember Peter's response, not just my feet, but my whole body. I love that guy. And I conclude with number four. There is always a blessing in serving. Be encouraged and commissioned with the words of verse 17 again. You will be blessed if you do them. You will additionally be blessed if you wrestle with the discussion questions we've provided. Let me prime the pump, so to speak, with our first question. If your group could make an impact through serving and be guaranteed success, what would you do together? Enjoy these additional questions as a group and make Jesus famous through serving together.